Can I help you? Yeah, I, uh, come to see the show. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. No one will be seated after the doors are closed. It helps maintain the illusion. All we wanted to do was just go see MJ's play, Bruce, but you couldn't even let us have that, could you? Anyways, welcome back, True Believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another infectious installment of Radioactive Replay, where we are now going to do another bonus episode relating to collectibles in the city. So again, first, we did all the pizza missions in the finale of the game, then we did all the MJ dates, then we also did all the Daily Bugle assignments from Robbie, and we just recently did the Challenge Arena, where we actually managed to beat Calypso somehow, that was just pure luck, but now... We are going to be going after all of the hint markers in the game. However, this part is going to be a bit different because first off, as you can see, some of them are already yellow, which means that I already uh, looked at those hint markers while we are playing the game through the other parts, so you can go check that out for yourself. However, we are going to get all the remaining hint markers in the city. However, I saw that you guys said that you want me to do commentary on this video, but since what we're going to be doing and basically listening to the entire video is Bruce Campbell giving us hints and tips and tricks about the game, I think I'm not going to do commentary on this one, and instead you're just going to have a whole radioactive replay where you're going to be hearing lots of beautiful lines of dialogue from Bruce Campbell himself, and hopefully that can make up for my lack of commentary because of how entertaining Bruce's lines of dialogue are in the hint markers, and I don't want to talk over him because all we're going to be doing is swinging from hint marker to hint marker. We're not going to be doing any side activities. We're not going to be doing any challenges. We're not going to be getting any tokens other than the hint marker tokens. It's just going to be 100% hint markers, so just stay tuned. Enjoy yourself. But I assure you that the next radioactive replay that we're going to be doing is going to be much more fun. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video of me looking at all the hint markers in the game. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Until next time, peace out. Be good now. Say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spidey. You can dodge anytime, while you're jumping, running, crawling, even swinging. Always try to dodge attacks. Seriously. If you're having trouble keeping track of a particular baddie, try using the lock-on camera. Remember that you can toggle lock-on camera on and off, too. Oh, you hit the mother load, the big enchilada. This is it, I'm gonna give you a whole mess of hero points. Now I should let you know, this is the most points I'm ever gonna give you, ever. Kind of a letdown when you think about it, huh? I'm sorry you won, what, what, sorry. <laughs> For more stylish tips? Well, clean swings are pretty stylish, assuming you can keep it up. What is a clean swing, you ask? Well, you know, the ones where you don't slam into the side of a building? Sure, you may be out of control, but if you look out of control, you aren't being stylish. Rule number one, style is everything. <laughs> Please, don't! 
you're having trouble finding your next destination, try stopping for a sec and pointing your camera at the destination marker. You'll be amazed how much reorienting like that can help. Don't forget to move the camera around if you want to get a better look at something. But don't worry, if you want it back behind yourself, you can always recenter it, you big baby. <laughs> Spidey stores are located all over the city. Make it a point to check in every once in a while, especially when you find a new one. They have all kinds of great stuff in them, and let's face it, what good are all those hero points you're earning if you don't spend them on something? Am I right? <laughs> Ding ding, geography time. Battery Park is the southernmost point on the island. You should be able to see the Statue of Liberty from there, if it's a clear day. <laughs> time for a little geography lesson. Inwood Hill Park is the northernmost point in Manhattan. See, your brain isn't rotting during a video game, you're learning something. <laughs> Okay, here's a little piece of advice. I, oh, uh, hang on, I need to get that. Hello? Oh, hey, baby. Well, no, I haven't forgotten. No? Well, listen, baby, it's not like that. Uh, <clears throat> look, I'll have to get uh, back to you later. This might be a while. Well, no one, baby. No, don't worry about it. Yeah, tell me about it. See, listen, later tonight, Folks, I'd like to take this opportunity to lay to rest a myth once and for all. The lizard does not appear in this game. Sorry, everyone knows that lizards can only be found in sewers anyway.
Spider-Man! I'm feeling generous, so I'm gonna give you some hero points. Unless, of course, I've already given you the hero points, in which case, you're getting jack squat. If you're looking for a cool place to swing around, you should go check out the Queensboro Bridge. Let me give you a little lowdown on the Shocker. You probably know that this is the second time you and he have gone toe to toe. His real name is Herman Schultz, although he never really looked like a Herman to me. After you find every hint marker in the game, they'll all reset. Only this time, they'll all say something different. Seriously. Spidey's web is as strong as steel, but way more flexible and sticky, too. And he can control its elasticity with his mind power. Okay, I made that last one up. So, let me tell you three things about Black Cat. 38, 24, 36. End of story. <laughs> Try hitching a ride on a helicopter for some great views of the city. Who knows, maybe you'll even get a ride to someplace new. <laughs> Have you seen the elevated train yet? If you haven't, you should check it out. <laughs> Looking for a stylish way to get fancy while you swing? Try doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's hard, you need a good head of steam going to pull it off, but you'll definitely wow your fans if you manage it. And I don't think you can do it.
Some of the most advanced attacks you can buy only work if your spider reflexes are activated. You should be using your spider reflexes anyway, but here's one more reason. Want to scale a building in style? Start sprinting up the building, then charge your jump. At the last second, release the jump button and then use the momentum to start sprinting again. You'll be up the building in no time and you'll look cool doing it. Oh yeah, it's a little tricky, so don't give up if you can't do it right away, okay? You quitter. Hey! I'm walking here! Yeah, it's me! Did you know you can actually attack from a wall jump? Wacky, huh? You can attack while wall sprinting. You'll launch yourself right at the guy, which must be pretty scary for that poor thug when you stop and think about it. You know all those titles you can earn? Some of them are pretty tough, but the hardest one has got to be Gold Medalist. You have to successfully complete every single challenge in the city, and that is seriously tough. Seriously. You can see the Statue of Liberty from the southern tip of the island. Kind of makes you wonder if there's some way to get out there, huh? Here's a little Spider-Man trivia for you. Peter Parker's day job is student slash freelance photographer for the Daily Bugle. Between the homework, photo assignments, and fighting crime at night, he is one tired guy. <laughs> Want to maximize your speed when you're swinging? Here's what you do. Charge your jump and release at the bottom of your swing arm. That should launch you almost parallel to the street for maximum speed. Have you been to the Queensboro Bridge yet? You can take it out to Roosevelt Island. Definitely worth a look. Please. 
Please stop! Oh, lucky you. You've stumbled onto a special, super secret, once in a lifetime special hint marker. You get some extra hero points for your trouble. Activate this again, and I'll tell you the same thing, only I'll be lying. <laughs> Ooh, lucky. Okay, here's a dilemma for you. If you swing near the ground, you'll have more points where you can attach your web line but you'll have to deal with things like signs, awnings, and fire escapes in your way. On the other hand, you can swing higher to stay away from the obstacles, but you'll have fewer points where you can swing. Life is just full of hard choices, but if you're careful, you can probably find good routes for getting around. Practice makes perfect. Superheroes, they think they own the place. When you're looking for hidden items, try looking near bushes and other stuff in parks that might conceal what you're looking for. What I'm saying is, pay attention. <laughs> Want to try something with a little more flash? You can transition from swinging right into a wall sprint if you're holding sprint and the grab button when you hit a wall. If the bad guys slam you up into the air, try mashing the grab button to restore your balance. That trick also works if you get knocked down. Go ahead, try it. If you tell anyone I told you this, I'll deny it. But one of the sets of exploration tokens scattered around the city is the Skyscraper Token Set. Wonder where you find those, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. One of the sets of exploration tokens is the buoy token set. Unless you're dumber than a box of rocks, you probably figured out that there's two types of crimes that you come across in the city. There's crimes that you just kind of discover, and there's crimes a citizen tells you about. What's the difference? Well, the big one is that you don't have to do anything about the random crimes. That's right, there's no strings attached. You see someone beating some guy up, and you can just walk away if you want, even though you're Spider-Man. If you learn about a crime from a citizen, though, well, you should be ready to deal with the problem. If you don't, there's going to be repercussions. Don't make me explain what that word is.
Tired of the grind of the crime fighter's life in the big city? Craving a little romance? I humbly suggest making your way to Mary Jane's. It's just the place for a weary superhero to break up his daily routine. <laughs> You think fighting supervillains is tough? Try delivering pizzas for a bit. Now that's stress. Remember that you advance through chapters of the story by completing your to-do list. That's good to remember whether you're trying to move ahead or if you want to hang back for a little while. You know about the little green question mark over the heads of some of the random citizens, right? Well, it means they have something to tell you, something important. It's usually a crime they want to report. Sometimes it's a little surprise, though, so stay on your toes. What is wrong with you people? Next person who tries to cut me off gets a little my down. fist up his tail. Health not where you want it for that big showdown with the supervillain of the week? Try solving one of the random crimes that pops up in the city. It'll earn you health as well as getting you some hero points, and you know you want those, right? I'm okay. How about you? Spider-Man! Hey! There are a total of 40 titles you can earn. I suppose you could figure that out by counting the spaces, but you hate counting, right? I'm here for you. If you're standing on a roof of a building and you press the grab button, then walk or run to the edge, you'll crawl over the lip and end up on the wall. It's useful for those occasions when you don't want to hurl yourself off a building, which, you know, could happen. Menace! I know it sounds a little crazy, but if you actually charge jump off your web while you're swinging, you actually have more control down long straightaways, and you can move faster, too. I dare you to prove me wrong. So, you're trying to earn some hero points, huh? Well, you probably already figured out that you can earn points by stopping crime, but did you know that you get points for finding exploration tokens? Yep. Also completing challenges, activating hint markers, lots of things. Get busy. Now keep this on the DL, but there's a set of exploration tokens called the Hideout Token Set. Look around for them. Your kid. There are four different sets of exploration tokens to find in the game. You'll get a couple of hero points for finding one token, but when you complete a set of tokens, you will get a bunch of points and a title to go along with it. Ta-da! So keep your eyes peeled, okay? <laughs> it's 
Swinging from one web to another without jumping can get a little hairy at high speeds, but it can be really useful for getting around sharp corners. Oh yeah, and it also gives you the chance to stop, which can be, I don't know, handy? You know, if you're looking to earn power for your spider reflex, it's time to think style. See, the cooler you are, the more juice you're going to earn for that spider reflex meter. What is stylish? How do I know? If you're having trouble finding your next destination, try stopping for a sec and pointing your camera at the destination marker. You'll be amazed how much reorienting like that can help. Here's a hint for those looking to maximize their style. You know how you can perform air tricks by pressing the jump button while you're zooming through the air? Yeah, well guess what? It's stylish, so knock yourself out. Having trouble swinging? You know you need an anchor point for your web line, right? That means if you're in a big open area with no buildings or trees nearby, you won't be able to swing. Did you know that dodging interrupts just about any other action? That means you can try to dodge an attack even if you're in the middle of an attack yourself. Must be nice to be Spider-Man. definitely take advantage of the fact that you can jump off the wall as you slide along it. It's a great way to keep your momentum going between swings. I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to give you some hero points. Unless, of course, I've already given you the hero points, in which case, you're getting jack squat. There are plenty of ways to fill your hero meter. Fight, do tricks while swinging around the city, and generally trying to be stylish. What stylish, you ask? What am I, a dictionary? Did you know you can attack after a dodge? Yep. Just press the attack button after you successfully dodge and you'll counterattack. You can even upgrade your counterattacks with more powerful versions and combos at guess what? Your local Spidey store. Try doing tricks in the air if you want to max out your spider reflex juice.
Careful now. Say thank you. <laughs> no kidding. There are some nice perks that come with having spider reflexes on. You get more warning about enemy attacks, you move faster than the guys you're fighting, and you get more powerful attacks to boot. Don't forget to use it, especially against supervillains. Some of those guys are pretty tough, and spider reflexes could be the edge you need. Got it? Looking to score some extra hero points? Try hitting one of those challenge markers and see what you can do. That's a great way to get better at swinging and moving around the city too. If you're thinking that superhero has got to be the most thankless job in the world, head over to the Daily Bugle and get a little reminder that freelance photographer is still down a few rungs. kinds of handy features on your pause menu. In addition to your to-do list, you already knew about that, let's not forget the handy list of what upgrades you've bought and which titles and other special awards you've won. A veritable plethora of useful info. Veritable, I tell you. <laughs> Okay, hypothetical scenario for you. You're standing on top of a building and you're thinking you'd like to start crawling down the building instead of jumping off. Solution, easy peasy. Hold the grab button and move off the edge of the building. You'll start crawling down the side. Is that sweet or what? <laughs> So, wall sliding is cool, wall sprinting is cool, but it begs the question, which one should you do? How about both, big shot? While you're wall sliding, if you hold the sprint button and press the grab button, you'll transition to a wall sprint. Does the coolness never end? N-O, baby, N-O. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. too far away? Web yank him to you by holding down the web button and then pulling back. It's like fishing, except without the pole. Or the water. Or the fish. It's just an analogy. <laughs> Look, it's Spider-Man! 
You've probably played around with the lock-on camera when you're in fights, but did you know that you can use it in other places as well? Oh yes, like say during various challenges, or when you're trying to activate switches. It's pretty darn useful when you get right down to it. Did you know you can attack after a dodge? Yep. Just press the attack button after you successfully dodge and you'll counterattack. You can even upgrade your counterattacks with more powerful versions and combos at guess what? Your local Spidey store. <laughs> I'm sure you know all about using the jump button to get off a web while you're swinging, right? Well, if you release at the bottom of your swing arc, you'll launch yourself forward with very little upward trajectory. Okay, this isn't Physics 101, so I'll spare you the explanation for why it happens, but trust me, it all makes sense. Just remember that when you're trying to cover distance quickly, you should try and release the jump at the bottom of your swing arc. <laughs> Depending on when you release the jump button while swinging, you'll pretty drastically change where you end up. For example, if you're at the top of your swing arc when you release the jump button, you will shoot almost straight up. Think about where you want to end up before you let go of your web, okay? Time for Spider-Man trivia. Spidey gained his superpowers when he was bitten by a genetically engineered spider. Not that I would recommend rushing out and trying that, mind you. know that dodging interrupts just about any other action? That means you can try to dodge an attack even if you're in the middle of an attack yourself. Must be nice to be Spider-Man. <laughs> The highest point in our city is about 350 meters tall. For the metrically impaired, that's just over 1,148 feet. All right, quick geography lesson. Central Park is in the northern half of Manhattan, and it's huge, trust me. If you have to ask, is this Central Park, you ain't there. Yikes! Oh, he came out of nowhere! So, you want some advice, huh? Something to make your life a little easier. How about this? Don't fall in the water. 
That's all right. Don't bother thanking me. Just doing my job. If you find a place where thugs like to congregate, check it periodically. Nothing like being a proactive crime fighter, right? A little bit of trivia for you. There are six hospitals spread across the city. Crazy, huh? Hey, hey it's me. I'm there are multiple the Spidey app. stores spread all across the city. Don't worry, though. They all have the same stuff, so when you're looking to power up, just find the nearest one. Jeez Louise, it's always nothing in this town. One arcade in the whole city, and it has four working games. Only four games, you say? Yeah, well, that's the lack of competition in the marketplace for you. Yeah, uh, I don't want to get into your business or anything, but you don't always have to charge your jump. There are some times when a regular jump is just as good, or maybe even better, and it's definitely faster, right? Yeah, it's me. Well, I've given you advice, but I want to give you a little something else. This hint marker is good for some free hero points. It's my gift to you. Oh yeah, and this is a one-time thing. If you try to come back and get more points, you lame little cheater, you're not gonna get anything, so beat it. Hey! I'm not waving my hands for my help here! If you're running short on hero points and you're having trouble completing a particular objective, try doing challenges and reading hints. You can use the points you earn to power yourself up a bit. Spidey! Um, you the woman? Whoa, Spider-Man! Charge jumps always give you some forward momentum and some upward momentum. The faster you're moving, the more you'll tend to go forward instead of up. So if there's something tall you're trying to jump over, don't forget to stop moving before you jump to maximize your jump height. Otherwise, bada bing right into the wall. <laughs> You know, being Spider-Man and all, you're a pretty fast guy. That's where spider reflexes come in. Not only does the world go into slow-mo, oh, and for those of you keeping score at home, you don't slow down as much as everything else. You also get those contracting rings that warn you about attacks coming. Just be careful about using your spider reflexes, though. You can use it up, which can be awkward, say, if a supervillain decides to pound you into guacamole. <laughs> That flash around your head every time someone attacks? 
That is your spider sense letting you know that it's time to hit the grab button in order to dodge. There's a sound too, so there is really no excuse for getting hit, okay? There are a lot of ways to earn more juice for your hero meter, but the easiest way is probably in fights. Anytime you dodge successfully, you'll add to your hero meter. Every time you get hit, your loser meter goes up. Please, stop! When you're swinging around, try to keep an ear out for calls for help and other sounds that can let you know when something is happening. Keep your eyeballs peeled for challenge and hint markers as you make your way through the city. Each marker has been hand placed by highly skilled marker gnomes, and some of them are in some pretty interesting spots. Jeez, it's always something. In case you didn't know, you can use your zoom map to find the hint and challenge markers that are spread all around the city. Lost? Well, you could use your map, but that's what everyone else does, right? Why not try climbing a tall building to get your bearings? You can activate spider reflexes anytime you want, as long as you have juice in your hero meter. If you push into a wall as you move by it, you'll wall slide along it. From a wall slide, you can jump, stick, sprint, all kinds of stuff. Check it out, baby. I lost my balloon! Hey, it's me, your kid. Hey, it's me. Now maybe you already know this, but you should be checking your to-do list whenever you're wondering what to do. Duh. It's on your pause menu, so it shouldn't test your hand-eye coordination too much to find it. Remember, ticking off the items on your to-do list is the key to advancing through chapters. Keep away from me! Oh my gosh! <gasps> One neat trick you might want to try is the impact web. It doesn't actually hurt your enemies, but it's a great way to put the stick on someone if you don't want to keep a web line attached to them. Spidey! You the man! Um, you the woman? Thank <laughs> you. 
If you do the old tap web to disarm trick on a thug with no weapon, you'll blind that sucker and send him into full-blown panic mode. This is great fun at parties, too. Spidey stores are located all over the city. Make it a point to check in every once in a while, especially when you find a new one. They have all kinds of great stuff in them, and let's face it, what good are all those hero points you're earning if you don't spend them on something? Am I right? After a few trips to the Spidey store, you're going to have a mess of moves to try out. You can pull off a lot of them just by pressing different combinations of buttons. Hey, it's me. Spidey, I need to talk to you. If you press the sprint button while you're swinging, it'll make you swing faster. How much of a boost you get depends on when in your swing you press the button. Play around with it. If you're charging your jump as you skid along a wall, try releasing jump. You'll do a jump off the wall and retain a lot of your forward momentum. If you hop up in the air and press the attack button, you can do a nice spinning kick attack. It's a pretty good tactic for getting out of the way of an attack and attacking at the same time. You know, as cool as crawling is, sooner or later it's going to start feeling pretty slow. Hold the sprint button to speed up your crawl. Boy, that sprint button is pretty handy, isn't it? Yeah, it's me. Hey, hey, hey buddy, come bumpers. on already! Let's talk grappling. You know what I mean, punches and kicks are great, but sometimes don't you just want to grab a guy by the scruff of the neck and throw him into the nearest wall? Uh, well, maybe that's just me. Anyway, if you want to grab a guy, just hold the grab button while webbing him up. Come on! Stop it! That's mine! You know, one of the hardest things to get used to about swinging is that you're always a little out of control, but don't freak out. If you panic, you'll just end up making things worse. Yeah, isn't me. If you aren't already doing it, you should definitely try jumping between your swings. One advantage is that you can steer yourself in the air makes it a little easier to maneuver when you can reorient a little before you shoot out another web line. The web slinger! If you press and hold the web button while you're facing an enemy, you'll tie him up. Careful though, some enemies can't be tied up, and some will even turn the tables on you. <laughs> Hello! I'm waving here! Now, if you have an enemy web tied, and you pull back while you're tying, He'll come flying right at you. 
Now that's the hallmark of a lazy superhero. Why go to him when you can bring him to you, right? James Louise. James Louise. James Louise. If you're sprinting when you charge jump, you'll cover a lot more distance than if you're just running. It's kind of obvious, really. I mean, you're moving faster, right? Dodging is really important. It's helpful against thugs, especially the ones with guns. But you're going to be really happy you have it when you take on a supervillain, because those guys can pack a wallop when they hit you. Charge jumps always give you some forward momentum and some upward momentum. The faster you're moving, the more you'll tend to go forward instead of up. So if there's something tall you're trying to jump over, don't forget to stop moving before you jump to maximize your jump height. Otherwise, bada bing, right into the wall. If you're ever feeling a little overwhelmed by all the controls, well, quit. Now, I'm kidding, take a look at the pause menu. There's a diagram of all the controls. Once you look at that, I'm sure you'll be ready to take on the world. You can dodge anytime, while you're jumping, running, crawling, even swinging. Always try to dodge attacks. Seriously. If you're having trouble keeping track of a particular baddie, try using the lock-on camera. Remember that you can toggle lock on camera on and off too. Your kid. Guy shooting you? Sure, you can dodge all day long, but how about being a little more proactive, huh? Take the bad guy's guns away by tapping the web button. Man, that's a good feeling. Oh yeah, it works on guys with other types of weapons too. <laughs> You can improve the range on your goon toss by charging your throw. It works just like charging a jump. Just hold the grab button while you're grabbing a goon, then release him and boing, watch that sucker fly.
Jeez Louise, it's always something in this town. Ah! Are you spending your hero points? Trust me, if you're waiting for a rainy day, forget it. Those points aren't going to do you any good when you retire. And they might just give you the edge you need against some big baddie down the road. So go to a Spidey store and spend some points already. Nothing like beating the snot out of some goon in midair, right? The only problem is that pesky gravity keeps pulling you down. Well, have I got a hint for you. You can yank that guy to you while you're both falling and keep the combo going. Take some practice, but you'll get the hang of it if you work at it. Keep your eyes peeled for little doodads called exploration tokens. They're collectible. You like collecting things, don't you? Of course you do. Whoa, Spider-Man! For those of you who are just getting to the party, a quick recap. Spidey fought the Green Goblin last time around. Who won? Gee, what do you think? Man, that was a good game. Go out and buy it. Hey, huh. Spidey! Yeah, huh. I'm talking to you! The Web Slinger! J. Jonah Jameson may seem like a greedy, self-centered jerk. But deep down, he's really a greedy, self-centered, self-righteous jerk. <laughs> I have nothing new to tell you except for the fact that I'm being paid by the line. And I just made 60 bucks. <laughs> you know, people keep asking me, are you going to eat a sandwich this time? I mean, what's wrong with you? Are you orally fixated? Oh, all right. No need for the puppy dog eyes. Here, I'll eat a sandwich, all right? See, you wouldn't want to hear it really, but I'm going to do it right now. All right, there. Are you happy? Good. Let's never speak of this again. <laughs> Dr. Octopus. I don't want to give anything away for you, but he's kind of the main troublemaker in this little drama. What do you mean you already knew that? Sheesh, no appreciation. <laughs> John Jameson, America's hero. Except maybe you're not too keen on the guy. I mean, he's moving in on your girl, right? Not that it's any of my business. If you want to stand by and let J. Jonah Jameson's son steal Mary Jane, hey, that's your business. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Lucky you, you've stumbled onto a special super secret once in a lifetime special hint marker. You get some extra hero points for your trouble. 
Activate this again, and I'll tell you the same thing, only I'll be lying. <laughs> Don't hurt me! Some of the most advanced attacks you can buy only work if your spider reflexes are activated. You should be using your spider reflexes anyway, but here's one more reason. Just so you know, hitting a wall ends your style chain, unless you wall sprint. Yeah, What's it's up? Me. Spidey, you the man! If you do the same type of combo twice in a row, you will end your style chain, so try and mix up your moves. Remember, repetition is never stylish. <sighs> it's boring. When you're trying to link stylish moves together, remember that you only have a little while to make the link. If you screw around, see ya! <laughs> Wall sprinting is so much fun you probably shouldn't even be allowed to do it. But no one asked me when they were making the rules, so there you go. Anyway, on top of everything else, wall sprinting is stylish. Like you need an excuse. <laughs> For more stylish tips? Well, clean swings are pretty stylish, assuming you can keep it up. What is a clean swing, you ask? Well, you know, the ones where you don't slam into the side of a building? Sure, you may be out of control, but if you look out of control, you aren't being stylish. Rule number one, style is everything. <laughs> Style advisory, dodging is stylish. Let's face it, when thugs hit you, you look like a tool. You have to keep your wits about you in a fight, kid. When your spider sense goes off, you have to be pretty quick on that grab button if you don't want to be eating a knuckle sandwich. Looking to earn a few extra hero points? Willing to take some abuse? Why not head over to the Daily Bugle? Even if the esteemed publisher is in one of his nasty moods, you can usually count on Robbie Robertson to pull you through with a little work. <laughs> If you only knew. Keep away from me. I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to give you some hero points. 
Unless, of course, I've already given you the hero points, in which case, you're getting jack squat. If you're jumping along rooftops and it looks like you're going to be a little short, Try using a web zip to give yourself the extra oomph you need to make it onto the roof. It's tons faster than catching the wall and crawling up. Want to know a little about Black Cat? Well, according to this <clears throat> profile I have, her real name is Felicia Hart. She loves adventure and can hold her own in a fight. Oh, and she has a thing for guys in tights. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. <laughs> Let me tell you a little about Mysterio. People will say he's crazy, that he has strange fashion sense, or that strange odors tend to emanate from him. But why focus on the negative? Let's talk instead about his wonderful singing voice. If you're interested in maximizing how stylish you are while you move through the city, here's something to keep in mind. Linking stylish moves together is worth more than doing them separately. Words to live by. Spider-Man! Help! Here's a little something I like to call an ode to Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, wherefore art thou, Spider-Man? Dost thou what a spider can? Spinneth thou a web of any size? Catchest thou crooks just like yon flies? Whew. Thank you. Quick style pointer. It is stylish to complete a full 360 degree orbit around a tower on a single web line. It's not as easy as you might think. hint on style for you. Long tricks are better than short tricks. So if you're doing something and can hold it like air tricks, wall sprints, speed, that kind of thing, try and maintain it as long as possible. Just remember,
quality can be just as important as quantity. If you're looking for <clears throat> hidden items, you might try looking under bridges. Now, I'm not saying whether you'll find anything, but it couldn't hurt to look, right? Winky, winky. <laughs> Here's a little navigational aid for you. The big diagonal street that goes the whole length of the island, that's Broadway. Since it runs basically north and south, it's a good reliable way to get uptown or downtown. Just be grateful you're not stuck in traffic. <laughs> If you press the sprint button while you're swinging, it'll make you swing faster. How much of a boost you get depends on when in your swing you press the button. Play around with it. Did you know you can web swing from the trees in Central Park, you little monkey? Lucky you, you've stumbled onto a special, super secret, once in a lifetime special hint marker. You get some extra hero points for your trouble. Activate this again and I'll tell you the same thing, only I'll be lying. <laughs> Menace! Track down some exploration tokens, but you aren't sure where to start? Why not give the shoreline a try? I hear there's a set that you can find floating out in the water. No Wait. kidding. Jeez, hey, I'm walking here. This town. If you're looking for exploration tokens, keep your eyes open all the time. There's one set of tokens that is really well hidden. I bet you can find them if you really try, though. <laughs> Looking for exploration tokens? Well, you might try looking on skyscrapers around the city. I hear there's a set that can be found on the tallest buildings. <laughs> You get Next person who tries to cut me off gets my fist up his tailpipe. Quick bit of history for you. The Statue of Liberty was actually a gift from the French. 
It was created and built in France, disassembled, shipped over to New York, and reassembled here. The statue was dedicated on October 28, 1886. I hope you're taking notes because there's going to be a pop quiz soon. You might try looking for hidden items in Central Park. I mean, I would. Get a job! There are some nice perks that come with having spider reflexes on. You get more warning about enemy attacks, you move faster than the guys you're fighting, and you get more powerful attacks to boot. Don't forget to use it, especially against supervillains. Some of those guys are pretty tough and spider reflexes could be the edge you need. Got it? Charging a jump is useful all on its own, but there's a couple of powerful attacks you can buy that use the charged up energy too. Example, with a fully charged jump meter, if you do a sprinting attack, you can slam the bad guys up into the air with your shoulder. Good fun, trust me. Hopefully by now you know all about charging your jump, right? Well, there's some other things you can do with that charged up energy once you buy the right move. One of them lets you do a punch that can send thugs flying back if you have a fully charged jump meter and press the attack button. trick you can do. While you're holding two web lines, you can slingshot yourself out. Charge your jump, wait until you sling back, then release to launch yourself forward. I mean, I don't know what you're going to do with it, but please use your powers for good, not evil. <laughs> You can buy upgrades in the Spidey store that will let you web tie more people at the same time. Man, you gotta love that Spidey store. Ever notice that the guy you wanna grab always seems to be halfway across the room? That's the worst, isn't it? Well, there's a solution. If you web a guy, you can reel him in while you have him attached to your web line by pressing the grab button.
There are more than 100 challenge markers in the city. Think you can do them all? Good luck, chump. I know what you're thinking. I'm hungry, but I could really use some extra hero points too. Well, say no more. Just head on over to the pizza place and I'm sure the owner will set you up with a delivery run. Yikes! Time for a... When you hear a cry for help, you should try and look into it. I mean, you are a superhero after all, right? There are petty crimes happening almost all the time, so you can fight crime to your heart's content. Keep an eyeball out for people in distress trying to get your attention. They have all kinds of problems, but most often they'll tell you about a crime they've just spotted. Just remember to take care of the problem once you learn about it, okay? That mini-map you got there is a handy little tool. Not only does it mark important locations, it also acts as kind of a radar to let you know where the bad guys are. Check it every once in a while, please. Huh. How's it going? The Web Slinger! As things progress, the items you find in Spidey stores will be more and more powerful. I lost my balloon! <gasps> Mary Jane. The girl next door. The girl I, huh, oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, anyway, about Mary Jane. Boy, I've never seen two people with a more complicated relationship. Communication, people, try it. <laughs> Ever wondered how spider sense works? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Spidey. Thank you, Mr. Spidey. I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to give you some hero points. Unless, of course, I've already given you the hero points, in which case, you're getting jack squat. Where 
web head. Looking good. Depending on when you release the jump button while swinging, you'll pretty drastically change where you end up. For example, if you're at the top of your swing arc when you release the jump button, you will shoot almost straight up. Think about where you want to end up before you let go of your web, okay? If you're crawling on a wall, you can use a crawling sprint jump to actually jump across an alley to the next building. Good to know you have options in this difficult world. Okay, so you know one of the buttons is called the attack button, right? Well, just because it's called attack doesn't mean it's the only useful button in a fight. Come on, use your web, use jump, and definitely dodge. They're all handy on their own, and you can also use them in combos. Try it. I'm sure you know all about using the jump button to get off a web while you're swinging, right? Well, if you release at the bottom of your swing arc, you'll launch yourself forward with very little upward trajectory. Okay, this isn't Physics 101, so I'll spare you the explanation for why it happens, but trust me, it all makes sense. Just remember that when you're trying to cover distance quickly, you should try and release the jump at the bottom of your swing arc. <laughs> Counterattacking after you dodge is a very stylish thing to do. Everyone at the club is doing it. Remember, just because you're fighting doesn't mean you have to stop looking cool. <laughs> When you're attacked, if you press the grab button too early, you're gonna get punched in the face, so pay attention to your spider sense. You know, if I were a superhero and could swing from building to building, I think my favorite spot to swing around would probably be downtown. All those tall buildings, there's a lot of swinging goodness to be had there. Spidey, you da man! Hey, here's a style tip for you. Going fast is stylish. It may not sound like much, but getting up some speed can actually be pretty tricky. Of course, I'm sure you'll come up with some clever ways to do it, because you're a cheater. Something different. Huh. 
something different. <laughs> Something different. Something different. Listen, can't you? Mm. Mm. 